Hello, folks. Uh, so, yeah, welcome to our latest look at Starbound Arcana. Uh, this time is a live stream that fits in the series as an optional episode uh, 3.5, I guess. Uh, so this will be like the videos that you know and love, only with all the boring bits left in. <laughs> uh, so I want to do this um, in this stream is uh, visit a load of planets, uh, get some of the ores, get some of the new stuff, uh, without, like, progressing too much. But well, I, I kind of like want to um, base it around uh, the, the timeless planet. Um, as well as everything else, but we want, want to concentrate on the timeless planet where there is a, a clock, tower, dungeon, and boss, uh, which I want to explore for, and I think that'll be like the main goal of the stream, but there'll be a lot of, a lot of crap around it as we go <laughs> hunting for nonsense and all that. Uh, yes, um, the hat is because my hair is just, uh, <laughs> is locked down tastic at the moment, so let's not worry about that. So at the moment I'm just fiddling around on one of my old builds. Uh, this, is, this is a banyan tree, but uh, we don't really want to be here. That's nothing to do with Arcana, so <laughs> uh, let's get going. Right. Anyway, yes, the the ship is the ship is the ship. Not really much to say about that. Let's go back to um. Let's get back to the actual proper place uh, where we actually are running the. Uh, this is our base of operations. If you haven't seen this series, um, this is um, very basic little base with a the llama face lad up there. And um, this is just like an extension of the Winter Palace. Uh, which is from the um, 2019 series that I did on the game. Well, that was just vanilla, though. So all the all the winter goodness that you'll ever need. Anyway, enough of that. So I say we are going to be concentrating on purely on on the Arcana content as per the series. And as I say, this is sort of like an episode 3.5. Uh, I was kind of like make, trying to make it completely optional, but to be honest, there's going to be stuff in here that does. It is kind of important. I mean, otherwise I'll put the timeless stuff in a in its own separate video or whatever. But I thought it'd, it's, it'd be nice to actually stretch out in a proper stream, say hello to everyone, and actually there's a lot of people already in chat. I should should have said hello. But, right. Anyway, so let's first of all, um, I'll bring up if you haven't seen episode three. Um, well, that's the one where I finally re realised there was there was actually an outpost in this game, a, a, a special version of the outpost. Uh, but also, that, that episode was a lot of fiddling around on various things and upgrading weapons. Uh, we finally got a really good sniper rifle that's worthy of its name. Uh, 96 damage per shot, which is very good. But I've also, this is something that I mentioned in the episode but didn't actually do in the end, is I wanted to craft this out of Necroium, um, which I think I can't remember which planet that's on. It's on several different sorts of planet, but now we have this um, to replace our previous Arcanium sword. This is just simply a little bit better. Uh, the other one was about 30 damage per swing, and this is almost 40. Uh, with about the same rate of fire or whatever. It's also got this cool... Um, oh, <laughs> that's not the best place to demonstrate that. Uh, and also a cool charging thing, which leaves an electric trail, which means enemies um, get kind of like tossed around all over the place. But you can do that, and you can see all that silver glowy stuff. That hurts enemies. If there were any enemies around, there aren't really many at the moment. There's that lad up there, who like, does like to fly through walls um, when he fancies it. Uh, what a prick. Anyway, so let's actually jump into one of the new planets. Obviously, this this planet is just a vanilla planet, um, including the Apollo 13 that I built there <laughs> at some point. Um, but yeah, let's actually get into the mod um, stuff. Oh, yes, I've bookmarked the Nova Station there. That's good. Um, those are all... Oh, God, that's that's a different series entirely. Uh, so let's jump, first of all, into the Animus planet. This has got a, a, an ore that we haven't yet found in, in the series, so it would be good to actually jump into um, this and see what's what. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, um, the beam site for this place um, was, like, next to this house, which was incredible. Nice little uh, high lottle lad who wants to give me a quest, but um, it's just a regular procedurally generated quest, nothing to do with the mod, so I don't really care. There's also a stone poo on the ground there. Oh, I've just killed loads of bees. <laughs> actually, there are quite a few bees on this planet. Um, they're actually just bugs, they're not bees. This is not Fracky Universe. Or Fracky Do, as it's now known. <laughs> I'm going to make that a thing. I think this is a, I think this is a weapon that I may have created on this um, in the episode and not actually used, or I may have picked this up from a planet. I don't know. This is a Gears S8 pistol, a one-handed weapon, so I can actually use it with my grappling hook successfully. <laughs> this isn't the best demonstration of this, but it allows me to do things. Uh, I've also got my sniper. Uh, I've taken off my stuff. I did a I did have a magical wand type situation. What's going on there? I can't turn. I can't go left. Oh, that's better. I did have a, a magic staff in the episode, but I decided it was really cool, the swords one. In fact, let's have a let's have a go with it. Um, it's in practice it was a pain in the arse to use. Um, that's a, that's just a regular wand. Oh there it is, yep. 
So this is um, Sodi McSodison over here. And that should come back. Also, hello bird. Would you like to be the experiment? Ha! Kill! Actually, I killed somebody else there. Kill this. Kill the birdie. You see, this is why I'm not, I'm not using this <laughs> again, because it's a bit of a ponderous pain in the arse to actually use. That bird is still not dead. There we go. Absolutely annihilated him. Right, well, sod that. A stalking hat? <laughs> anyway, never mind about that. Uh, I'm just going to have to refresh chat. It's some... Um, my thing's broken. Hang on. One sec. Do, 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 do. That's more like it. Yes, now I can actually see what's going on. It had frozen somewhat. Right, so the Animus Planet, let's see what it's got. It's got those crystally type things on it. Let's give it to you. There we go. Push you away. Uh, let's see what sort of stuff that we can get from the ground. Rice! <laughs> Ignore that. Uh, Ketsueki Rock. Not sure what that's all about. Actually, there are a lot of I think there's some in this mod, more enemies do spawn than in the regular vanilla thing, so it is possible to get overwhelmed a little bit if you don't take things out. In the vanilla game, you can sometimes just ignore things, um, knowing that you'll never get overwhelmed. Not so much here. Hmm. He's, oh, that was, a good, that was a good shot. I think my most powerful weapon at the moment is actually my sniper. There we go. So I'll probably rely on that a bit more. But yeah, there should be some good ores in here, but I don't, I don't think this is it. This is just iron ore. Ugh. This might be it. Animus? Animus crystals? Uh, that may or may not be what we're looking for. I'm not 100% sure. This is probably just Arcanium ore. It is. Oh, look at that down there, bottom right. That That's red, so I reckon that'll be it. Um, How do I get down there easily? I really could do with the mining laser, but that's fracking universe. <laughs> So you can actually install both at once. Um, it just there's a lot of content that would just overlap and be make things a bit confusing. Like you'd never be able to find the right planets if you had Fracking Universe and this installed, because you'd have a billion different sorts here and there. I think I can just carve my way through here. That down there is another kind of ore, but stuff that th that even might be um, necrolium, uh, which my sword is made out of. So I'm just going to double check. Ferocious dirt. Ooh. All right, just going to double check. Oh, there's some titanium. Oh, no, tungsten there. On the right. Necroium, yeah, this is it. I could do with a bit more of this. I could also do with some healing. Finally, after visiting that planet in the episode 3, I finally managed to get a decent amount of these um, nano wrap bandages, which, of course, are far, far better than what I was using before. I say of course, I mean, <laughs> don't expect you to know that. Yeah, he's a, practically a one-shot lad now. Right, anyway, let's see if this is the Animus that we're so craving desperately. Yes, it is. Good. So this is some um, uh, mining and everything is probably the stuff that I usually um, take out of the videos. And because it is just mining after, at the end of the day. The enemies down there, they don't look too... Oh, God, I didn't actually mean to come down here. Yeah. These lads do like to go invisible, so you've got to be careful. So one shot does take off most of its health, but then it goes invisible for a bit. There we go. This is... Yeah, there's a lot of healing water. I keep on finding healing water on these planets. On these, um, arcana planets, which is most convenient. Right, grab you. A bit more of the ore. Don't think we need vast quantities of any of these ores, really. Turns out, I think the, the thing that you need most of are things like dirt and mud from different planets. The one thing I want to find is... Cosmo tendrils. I don't know where they are. It's a. I don't, it's not a kind of, kind of ore. It's. I don't know what it is, but that goes towards a particular armor set that I would not mind having. Uh, shoddy damage per shot. Nope. Crap. There's no point in getting. Oh, hello. There's another chest right there. Oh, teleport to go. Hang on. Don't really need them. I've got about six or seven on the ship at the moment. Now, what kind of stuff is this? Animus bricks. Oh, whatever. I don't think there's much else that will um, um, detain us down here. And because, of course, Spoiler Ape is a casual character, which is something I did when I set him up first time around, I made him casual, which was a probably a mistake, because it takes out some of the challenge. I mean, I've got no hunger bar. But we're stuck with him. Stuck with a bugger. Yeah, using this sword against these lads, yeah, I'd, I'd rather just use the thing. Oh, hello. A little bit of a micro-dungeon over there. 
It may just be a vanilla piece of poo. <laughs> but we'll have a look anyway. Hello to late o'clock, who is a little bit late. Ten minutes into the stream. <laughs> I'll forgive him just this once. That's fine. So I'm just how I found this channel in the first place, so it's nice to see it back in the mix. I think, yeah, because I'm never going to be um, doing series on the vanilla game again. So it is nice that there's uh, this mod um, turned up. I think, it's, I think this first came out in January. Uh, and um, it's a nice meaty mod, which um, is good for, like, a doing plenty on, which is always good to see. And there weren't a huge amount of good ones like that out there. I mean, this feels like a proper-ass deal. Nicely integrated, lots going on and lots to discover. And which is hopefully we're going to be finding one of the um, the dungeons and the bosses in this stream once I've finished very slowly digging my way through things. And we've got ourselves another, another wand, a level 7 wand. So this is actually better than, I think, anything that you find in vanilla. I've also got a wand here, which is a level 8, so maybe, I don't know. But I say I don't really use ones or staffs. Hello. This was this is actually a proper uh, avian dungeon, isn't it? Huh. Well. I say this is not. I was I'm trying to stick to um, non-vanilla stuff here. Now these aren't very tough. These. I think the animus planets aren't particularly that high tier. Yeah, just leave them behind. It also means that um, spoiler ape can beam out of um, even the darkest places in a planet. It doesn't have to be on the surface or anything. I'm also on fire, which is less than ideal. I'll heal up quickly. Have a bit of a drink. Uh, the um, oh yes, I mean, as Evil Black Cat points out, him. It take. I don't actually have to. If I die, and and sometimes, believe it or not, as this character, I do. <laughs> um. It does mean that I don't have to. Yeah, I have to go back and get my do a do a uh, annoying loot run or whatever you call it, a corpse run. Uh, like when you're facing the chaos chicken. Well, let's not talk about that. Right. Anyway, <laughs> bloody chaos chicken. Not that anyone of you have probably watched that video, but <laughs> never mind. Uh, got a few things. Um, I, I probably will have to go back to the um, the arcane tower after going to a planet because there's always so much stuff in my inventory. I will need the clean out. Um, I'll try putting. Oh yeah, there's um that'll give us some essence. And because in this mod, it's all about finding essences to. You, know, you basically turn dirt and mud and stuff into essences, which you then use to craft particular things. So I'm just gonna put everything that I've gathered that I know will hopefully turn into essences just through the this m magical machine of mystery. I don't think this does anything. No, it doesn't. Um, Animus... Oh, Ket's... This this stuff does not do it. Only certain things do, and it's hard to work out what. This might do it. Nope. Ferocious dirt. This should. Nope. <laughs> God damn it. It's all poo. None of this does anything. God damn it. Okay, well... In my slightly new and improved storage solution now, I can put... I'll just put everything in there. Every all these types of block can get bunged in. Save it for a rainy day and all that. Otherwise my inventory will get out of bloody hand. Liquids go in there. Got a shit ton of this arcane water, which also turns into arcane essences. But not going to bother too much there. Right, let's taunt you. So I've got this animus. So the furnace... Oh, anima. Anima, I should call it. Anima. Oh, we can get... Oh, blimey, that's a lot. Lots and lots of delicious anima, which was going to hopefully go towards our armour. I think this is why I was collecting it. I forget already. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Terraria... I really should... Some of the bigger Terraria mods I really should get in, um, actually have a go with, because people have been saying this over the years that I should give them a go. I think I very occasionally dabble in Terraria. Uh, it's been a bit more than I do now. Well... Uh, I did a couple of series. I did that hard, that ludicrous hardcore series, which <laughs> permadeath hardcore. That was nonsense. I can't, still can't believe I got seven episodes out of that. I thought I was be, gonna be dead after twenty minutes, and in fact I was um, the first two times I tried it. Uh, with the, that did not make a video. Funny enough, uh, I think I'll leave that. Right, so I've got this all this delicious neck. Whatever the hell it was, and um, with any luck, here we go. We can theoretically make anima chest plates. Uh, which would be nice, because this is, armor-wise, this pretty much matches what I've got, but um, the um, in terms of defense, I think this, um, this will be about 80 defense in total, if I get every part of this. However, it does improve my heart. I think this gives me extra li more life if I get this set sorted. So let's do this. Chest play. Let it. I need one more bar! <gasps> oh, that's rotten shittery of the highest order. God damn it. 
Ooh. Okay. <laughs> One second. Oh god, Minecraft hardcore. Yeah, I did. I sort of, I theoretically did a series on that, didn't I? The, I think the, the very first episode of the last ever Minecraft extravaganza was supposed to be a, a, a Minecraft hardcore series. And then at the end of episode three, I discovered I'd actually not set it to hardcore. It was just a regular, <laughs> it was just a regular world. It was like, what? What was the point of all that? <laughs> anyway, never mind like that. Uh, I don't know if I just collected any anim um, animus there. I think I collected Ketsui Rock or whatever. Oh no, I, mm, no I didn't. I do actually need to get a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more. Hello to Eddie! And also Dirk Spain. Just grab, 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 grab. I really could do with some more of this. Is this even it? Oh, I know, I'm not collecting it, am I? Because my inventory is full, yet again. There we go. 14 ore. Which does actually mean I probably missed some of the... Oh, I'm stuck. Missed some of the stuff earlier on. No, I think I've got everything. Oh, it was up, up, up there to the top right, wasn't it? Yeah, I just didn't pick it up. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Hang on. Got you. Yeah, a little bit of extra ore there. Look at that lad. Another PCG generated lad over there. Uh, has got eyes in his tail. Oh, he looks really ferocious. Look at him. He's got a right old gob on him. Not him. He can see me when walking backwards, and I don't like that, don't like that at all. It's creepy. Anyway, let's get home. Right, okay. Finally, we, um, we can finally finish off this set of armour. So, there's actually a better set of armour that I wanted, but that unfortunately requires what we discussed earlier, and that's... Um, hang on, let's have, a, let's have a look. Which one was it? Catalytic chest plate, that was it. And this requires synthetic material, which I actually made in one of the episodes, so that's fine. But it, it requires these Cosmo tendrils. I have absolutely no idea where they are in this mod. But we'll have a look as we're flapping about all these different planets, and hopefully we'll discover some. But for now, I can make the... Um, was it Majora's Mask? I think it was. I think that was the one thing that we couldn't make, wasn't it? And let's just quickly grab that. Chest plate and leggings. Yes, it indeed is the mask. Right, okay, so now I, I should really put away my... Um, here's actually what I'll do. Um, let me try... Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, let me try and craft a mannequin. I don't know where those are. They might actually be in the... The, uh, the tailoring thing here. But this is one of those things I do very rarely. It requires timber and copper. I've got no timber. Blimey. I've always got timber. And it needed copper bar, I think. I think Was it copper or was it? I think it was. Uh, my inventory is full again. A little shifting around there. Right, so I'm going to make a mannequin so we can put my existing set of armour on there, just for safekeeping. Uh, <laughs> I'm look desperately looking around trying to find somewhere to put this. There's, once again, not very much room, so... I'll fit it next to my um, palm tree of dreams. My hollow palm tree. Here we go. Right, so let's strip. There's ways of doing this. Right, so those um, I've, I've still got my uh, cosmetic armor on, so obviously I won't change my actual appearance here. But that's what I'd look like <laughs> normally. That's what Spoiler 8 would look like normally without cosmetic armor on, which is a bit weird. I, I should really change my, back to my beret, shouldn't I? But for some reason the flamingo hat is just amusing me so much that it has to stay for the time being. It's not canon, though. <laughs> right, anyway, so now we've got a slight increase in armor, but I think it's our heart stat that is now at 422. That should hopefully keep us alive for a lot longer with any luck. Better bloody do. Because um, when I went to that bloody awful planet, the automated planet, in the video, it, that just absolutely wrecked me. And that's, we don't want to be wrecked because that's uncomfortable for all concerned. So, let's go to a new planet. Now we've got ourselves better armor. So we've also got, yeah, we've, we've sorted out getting the animus Arcane Desert. That's um, not particularly that dangerous. I think the Arcane Desert is a fairly... I say low tier, but low tier for this mod. It's not actually low tier in general, but... 
Um, there's there's nothing particularly that we need from here, but it'd be nice to have a look around because I haven't done this in a series. And there's, uh, I think from what I've seen from screenshots, there are some quite nice structures and things like that for us to explore if we just like wander around the place. So have a bit of a wander. Hello, you. It's just some regular ass human. Boop. Yeah, these lads are not tough. Get some chicken out of it. Flying chicken. I think there was um the glowing ore down there. I think is magic crystal, uh, which I've got plenty of. Oh, we've turned in. We've got into um, a savanna biome. Yeah, this is um all fairly vanilla. This is just totally vanilla. And little Fenerox houses here. Although there seems to be, they seem to be having a bit of a fight in the basement. Grab, loot. Oh, this is the stage where I realise I forgot to actually empty my pockets. So my um, I am actually somewhat full. Yeah, this, we don't want to be going in that direction because that'll just be Fenerox hell. And um, also, what I will do, yeah, is just quickly, as, as I say, empty my pockets just so I've got a bit of room. Back to the tower. Uh, what do I need to get rid of? Oh, I've got some capture pods, which I think might be useful at some point for, well, capturing, I guess. Uh, let me see. Go up, go up here. And we'll put away some of our ingots and things. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Scorch cores, that's all vanilla stuff. Let's um, shuffle that. Go into my vanilla chest over here. Dump a few things from this. Get rid, get rid. None of this is stacking, is it? And anything from here. This I need more storage. I really do. Oh, there's some Violium. Get rid of that. Well, all this all this stuff that's in blue and purple at the top here. This is all from the mod. Um, anything beyond that, from the battery onwards, is all vanilla. Anything else? I really, as I said, I really just need some more space, don't I? Um, anything else? Do do do. Now, okay, now we can go um, back. Uh, the I don't think we're going to find a huge amount in this arcane desert, but we'll, we'll have a go to the right-hand side. Hello, David. How are you? Um, we'll just have a bit of a look-see here, just because to the left is Fenerox, but to the right, is hopefully, is some more exciting... excitingness. So more regular humans. The springs look as clear to, as something. Whatever you said, who cares? <laughs> now, of course, I could be collecting some of this stuff, because I think this mod has quite a few different unique furniture sets in it, uh, although I'm not particularly bothered about um, furnishing my own base at the moment. Uh, because I'm just I'm, I'm theming that to the Winter Palace rather than anything in this mod, out of sheer laziness more than anything. I think this is all pretty much a surface mini dungeony type things, isn't it? Yeah, all just repeating. I'll I'll steal this Oasis Plant Stand. I have a feeling that's not going to be a very interesting planet to be honest, so won't stick around there. What we will do is go to. I can't remember what we've actually seen on the episodes or not. Um, the automated one um, is in the episode. I'm going to leave. I'm not going to do the automated stuff again to, in this stream. I'm going to leave that till I think episode the proper episode four, um, where we're, I'm going to hopefully try and find the uh, the dungeon there. It turns out the um the automated planet was only added to the mod I think like two days ago, possibly one day ago, and I think I recorded. The episode I did, episode number three, like an hour after that had been updated or whatever. I didn't realise automate, the automated planet was actually totally brand new. Um, so, whatever. I don't think I've been to a blistering planet. Again, this is probably a, a less interesting uh, planet. Yeah, I think this is just going to be a fairly regular ass hot planet, isn't it? Oh, bandits. Bandits at nine o'clock. It's also, by the looks of it, not a very high tier planet because these bandits are going down in one. Um, it only has magi stuff in it. This, so yeah, there's no no high, really good high tier ores to be found. There's core fragments, which is something you don't see very often, at least not uh, when you're in well in vanilla star by the wall at the core of every planet. Uh, Fine skater, uh, what's going on? Um, hang on. Uh, yes, this is indeed uh, modded starbound. I'm going to win away from you. This is Starbound with the Arcana mod. There's no... I haven't got many other mods installed. Uh, oh, bloody hell. Um, there's only a few quality of life type things. 
Oh, a light augment. Oh! You know what? I'm actually going to have that. I'm going to replace my um, gravity one. So now I've actually got some more light, which is going to be quite handy. Although, having said that, I feel a bit heavier now. <laughs> I think I think that EPP might have actually been um, giving me some good height, which I didn't realise. Oh, bloody hell. Ooh, never mind. I've still got the treble jump. A dry plate. Ooh, that's, that's uh, part of the mod, I think. Uh, the Arcana mod, I do like the mods that are similar to Thormcraft. Yeah, um... I, I'm trying to think of what episode... Because I put out an episode of Minecraft a couple of days ago with Thormcraft in it. I can't remember how far I've got in that series. I recorded it all so long ago. Um, but yeah, I think um, I just watched an episode where I pretty much finished Thumbcraft off. Uh, I was watching it just to like... I think, I think it's like the next episode that's coming out is possibly one where I sort of finish off Thumbcraft completely... Well, uh, in terms of the quest progression anyway. Oh look, there's like a giant skeleton in the background. Cool. But again with Thumbcraft, there's so much in it. I mean, you, you, to, re to really finish it off would take forever. I think I haven't done the Crimson... I think episode 22 is the Crimson Rites episode. Uh, and then there's like a few more episodes after that until we're done. Oh, bloody hell, yeah, this is... Um, I feel very um, heavy these days. There we go. Nice little grappling hook action. This planet is pace. And also, I think this I think this is a... I've just wandered into a barren biome, which is the least interesting biome in the game. It's got literally nothing. Hmm. Ow. Yeah. Sod that planet. Give it a good old kick up the bum. Hello, do blackout, and so on. Right, uh, desolate planet. Nec this has necroium and arcanium on it, so all stuff that we've had before. So won't spend much time here, I don't think, unless there's exciting. Oh, oh, bloody hell! All right, hang on. These are lads that you only ever find in space normally. With fight, these are lads you fight with a mech, I think. Turns out they're really small. Ugh, go away. They're very slippery as well because they they come and go. This is an attack pattern that um, enemies don't usually have on the surface of a planet, so I'm not used to it. Also, look at that. It, it, dro it literally drops mech fuel, which I can't pick up, I don't think. God damn it. Yeah, I literally can't pick it up as a... As a I was going to say a human being, but I'm actually an ape. Now, anyway, I think this feels like very similar to that other planet. The world generation here is like, just feels very similar. You're going to die. There we go. And this is, I think, Necroium again. I've also got de oh, Desolate Cobblestone. I really should um, be trying to get some of the ores and things as well. Oh, not the ores, the dirt, the dirt and the mud and stuff. And because that will go towards new essences that I haven't had before. Not that I really know what the essences particularly do, or beyond crafting, but I think I should find a use for something before actually finding it, really. But. Oh god, more of these lads. Hang on. It's the way they duck away like that is really makes things difficult. They take three hits as well, so they are quite strong. There we go. Now I need to bridge this gap. Well, since this is a start bound, I can do this. I'll, I'll do this. Unless there's anything exciting down there. There's a bandit. And a campfire. <laughs> Stay well away from you. Hmm. This is a tough old planet. Ow! Not many signs of interesting life. Oh, we have to... Ugh. Hang on. Heal. God, this this sword is definitely no not a, not a patch on the sniper. Right, hang on. Oh, ow, ow! I really made it uh, rebound, didn't I? Okay, hang on. I think this is the the mod's equivalent of a moon, to be honest. Right, okay, sod that for a game of soldiers. Uh, I think it's time probably just to have a bit of a test to see if we can get any more essences, um, and also help clear our inventory, I guess. Right, what are we doing? Essences. Uh, no, we're doing that. Here we go. 
I hardly got anything. This might not be enough to actually put through the thing. No. Nope. Sod. But it does mean that my, I, don't, I probably won't need a, a clear out here, will I? Salvage power coping. That can go in the bin. Necroium fragments. May as well turn that into stuff. And I can put that into the chest of dreams up here. Also, this dry plate is quite intriguing. Um, I need another gen um, generic chest. Right, I'm going to sort out some exciting storage solutions. Just like an episode of Minecraft Stone Block 2. Oh, yeah, look at you! Go away. You're your steampunk light prick. I've got another copper crate. Um, I can just bung this somewhere. You know what? Let's get rid of... There's a globe here, which I don't need. A medieval globe. And in fact, I'll, I'll put this... I'll put this here, I think. And interesting crafting materials from this mod I can put in there, I think. Rather than traipse around everywhere with all this gunk. I really do have a lot of crap. I'll leave all the essences in my inventory. Teleporter to car, I really don't need, don't need those. And aquarium fragments. I do feel like... <laughs> Dry plate is weird. I don't know if it's part of the modern art. I think it is. It doesn't seem it doesn't seem very vanilla. Um, or that Verostin art. I don't actually know how to actually make that. For some reason, it doesn't it doesn't work through the furnace. And it feels I feel like it should, but apparently not. Anyway, let's put it into there. The Necroium fragment can go into the R thing. I've got to do this in, in, I've got to do this very precisely. I can't be slapdash. Ooh, right. Teleporter car. I really feel like I should put that back on the ship because it's important. But let's put it in here and forget about it. Right. Let's see. We need we need a planet with some good ore on it that we haven't actually got before. We've got boreal, whatever it's called. Automated has dust, or dustrium. Uh, but I'm waiting. I'm saving that for a video. Elect. Elect. <laughs> I don't think we've got any of this. Uh, this is Electrium, or Electrolyte, or something like that. Um, so, oh yeah, thanks for stopping by, Black Hat and... Black... <laughs> sorry, Blackout. Um, and all the best, and all that. Uh, hmm. Oh yes, right. So this is just a... I think this is a... Uh, this might be a, a, a like an ocean planet type thing. So maybe I've, maybe I've been in this in the video, I don't know. I don't think I've been mining. Uh, I, I can't see anywhere where I've been mining before, so I think this is this is probably new to the series. We haven't seen this before. Uh, this is... I'm looking for Electro something or other. Ret oh, and this is Renatine fragments. So what's the purple, then? Electrolyte art. Um, I have had this before, I think. But otherwise it would have popped in my collections. Uh, that's vanilla collections. Here we go. Magifier crystal, Aristone, and yes, animal ore. Yeah, I've already I've already collected this once before. Oh, that's animal ore. I didn't mean that, did I? It's or maybe maybe this sort of ore doesn't actually appear in this collection. I don't know. Anyway, I'm starting to build up these collections. I've made some of the weapons. I've already made the um, Arcanium broadsword, the Eludication pale staff, and the Ten Tenebrosity dark broadsword. Um, but these are some higher tier stuff as well, I think. This, I think the Stella is probably better. But anyway, enough of that. So I don't know if we actually need any of this. Any more of this. I'll have a look around the planet, because it I'm not sure if it is actually a a sea planet or not. It looks it feels like it should be a sea planet because of all the um all the palm trees. Oh here we go. Is this the neon sea planet? I can't remember if this is, I think this is the neon sea. Get in the water. There we go. Yeah, neon water. Oh, this is actually stuff that I do actually need at some point for something. I forget what. Hello to Wadron. And hello to some plant fibre. There's everything else. Is this going to kill me? Apparently not. It's all gone very young pink. Like bubblegum flavour water. There's a really nasty lad there. Oh, look at him. He's apparently yellow. Not that we can really tell. Right. 
Huh. Well, 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 I haven't seen one of these for a long time. Uh, a vanilla high lotl underwater city. Huh. It seems a bit peculiar. Oh, look at the background. That's awkward, isn't it? <laughs> Obviously, this um, dungeon was not designed with this mod in mind. Uh, through the airlock. <laughs> anyway. So not really much we can do here that's um, mod specific. So yeah, this is a um, mod and this is a uh, the Arcana mod, a big fat mod which has loads of planets and a couple of dungeons and bosses and things. Um, all very magic based. Oh yeah, this is a yeah you can't steal anything here, can you? Yeah, there's nothing up here to get. I don't want don't want to be up here. That hurt. I should probably heal up. Yeah, so I didn't really get much of any particular use. I've got some electrolytes. I still... or oh, elect electrolytes, I should say. It still doesn't feel like I've got very much of it, though. And I feel maybe some... If I go west and do some digging. Um, that looks like a big batch. Or maybe this is just... I don't know, let's have a look. I'm already forgetting the, col the various colours involved. Oh, this is electrolyte. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, yes. I do a bit of a dig down. I think that's another batch down there. And that'll probably do us, to be honest. I don't think we really need to spend much time doing all the exciting mining thing. Grab, 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 grab. And is my inventory full again? Brilliant. Excellent. Oh, no, I think that's just maybe they just... Some dirt that I haven't actually mined out. Okay, that's fine then, yeah. So now we have up to... Well, we've got 45, and I'll turn into 22, probably. It'll do for now. We can always come back. I should also get rid of that top right thing. It's annoying, isn't it? There. Sorted. Actually, what what mech have I got these days? Is it still the cheese shark? It is! Now, that's an interesting... Some, bad is that we haven't seen. This is the, um... I don't know what planet this is. Oh, this this might actually be an, uh, another automated planet, so I'm not really supposed to be here. <laughs> Just wait those lads. Give those lads a bit of a tonking. Yeah, these planets are an absolute bitch. They're absolutely... They, they, everything's just so tough. See, so, yeah, I can collect it now as a cheese shark. Anyway, let's get out of there. Uh, that was not Urchius, no. None of it was. Oh, lech. I mean, I think you're just reusing some of the... Uh, possibly using the same graphics as... Just using very similar ones. Uh, we haven't actually been to an Evo Aquatic planet, which does have Morph... Morph something or other on it, which I don't think we've actually got so far. And let's just double-check I've got space again. Yeah, i got plenty of space. Electrolyte. Renatine. Okay, yeah, whatever. Right, so let's pop over to... I've lost it now, hang on. Where are you? You've got it, there we go. So that wasn't a Neon C one. Was that? No, that was the Neon C, wasn't it? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, Evo Aquatic. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, David. How much do I play Starbound these days? Um, not very much, just for just when there's like mods and videos to do and everything. But I think in total I must have got nearly a thousand hours in it. Over the years. Over the many years. <laughs> this is a very nice. This is a lush old place. E was it Evo Aquatic or Eco or something like that? Oh, a tough chest. A muscle suit for tough people. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see how tough I look in this. Uh, can't even see myself. No, that didn't make me look tough. Don't like it. Sick of it. Get rid of it. It's all very overgrown, so that looks unusual. I haven't seen that before. Morphosis Shard? Possibly the first time I've got it, although there's a chance. I think one of the planets that we visited on the video did actually have a Evo Aquatic biome in it. So I did actually get some of the dirt and the mud in, um, from it already. So there's a chance I've actually had some of this before, but pro almost certainly not in quantity. Meanwhile, there's a Glitch Castle dungeon on this planet by the looks of it. 
Oh, there's a very fed up looking baddie down there, look. There's that little um, stone lad down there. So I'll need to get a bit of this. Always worth checking the waters in this mod as well, because there are a few different types of water. Like, uh, well, as well as arcane water, there's like illuminated water and stuff. Again, I'm probably best using a sniper for this. Yeah. Oh, there's a horse! Oh, the horse got absolutely annihilated. Oh, he's blocking! Arsehole. Not for long, you aren't. Kill. Look at your piddly little arrow compared to my big lad. Right. This, this is going to be dangerous, but it should be okay. I'm just going to test out to see what that red stuff is. I think we've... I think this is a different biome. Um, and it does seem to be a biome from the actual mod itself, so... Oh, we've got... <laughs> it's more anima ore, as it turns out. Well, probably don't need any more of that. Yeah, unfortunately, because we now wandered into a different biome, we have got different ores as well. We have just a regular vanilla micro dungeon down there with all those saws and everything. And Grand Valley has played over 100 hours of Fallout 20... Fallout 76 this week. Holy shit. I don't think I've... I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think I've ever played a Fallout game. I think Pete did. I think Pete's got a new series. Um, I think he's starting to put my videos out, I believe. I'm uh, not quite sure what on yet, but... Uh, if you don't know, he was a guy who used to... Sometimes did videos with, including Starbound. About five years ago. Long time ago. There's also, I think we've now wandered into a spring, oh, giant flower biome. This is, that's different to a spring biome. Yeah, giant flowers. Lots and lots of giant flowers. Nothing useful. And we haven't got any uh, ores around here either. So. But I'll have a bit more look around the planet, because I keep on just looking around a very small amount of the planet. And I'm probably missing some useful surface type stuff. Uh, there are no bees, sadly, um, neighbor Bob. Um, not in this mod. There are Presumably just like regular bugs that look like a lot like um, fracking universe uh, bees. Oh, fracky do. Oh, we're starting to get into... Actually, yeah, we are starting to move into a different biome again, I think. Um, let's get out our... Sniper! At yeah, you. Also, you're, you're ling... Everyone's ling... Look at them all lingering. Let's line this up for a shot. Let's try and snipe a lot of them. Oh, I've got most of them. There we go. Get rid of you. Yeah, this sniper is good. I don't think I've ever had anything with 96 damage on it before. <laughs> Not in Starbound. It's tough. Tough as old boots, it is. Um, that's actually de reasonably decent axe, but I don't like axes at all. Never have. I've just turned into a ball. Deal with it. Ow! That big eyelid is quite painful to the touch. Oh god, we are getting a bit overwhelmed. I think I might sod off. See, the, um, the spawn rate on this in this mod is, is definitely higher than in the in the vanilla game. <laughs> right, anyway. So, did we get anything useful from there? We've got quite a bit of doit. Various kinds of doit. Including the Evo Aquatic Dirt, which might actually be useful for something that I was looking for uh, in some of the um, crafting tables. Um, off camera. I'll have to look that up. I'll give it the ruinous stone. Anything from here? No, we're still pretty... Our inventory is still uh, decent. Uh, so I think we'll head towards the timeless planet. We'll do... I think we'll just, just whilst I'm doing this, um, is there, I'm just trying to see if there's any other ores that I have not got yet. Um, it looks like timeless might actually be the next one because that's got a, a kind of ore that I haven't got bef before. And that seems to be it for ores that I'm targeting. So it might now be time to look at the Verdant Planet. It's got, it's literally got no interesting ores here whatsoever. Um, you can check that. Um, I'm, you can check that using, because I'm using the More Planets Info mod, which is very handy, which does work with this. Um, or maybe I'm circling a timeless planet. Huh. When I said I was on an automated planet earlier, I actually meant timeless, I think. Oh, no, this is an automated planet. Ignore them, yeah. So, the automated planet does have the Arcana underscore workshop underscore dungeon underscore one dungeon. 
uh, which is <laughs> a very memorable name for a dungeon. It's also got Dastrium, which is apparently new to the mod. But so we're not we're not doing that at the moment. We are trying to do a timeless lad. So let's go over here. And go here. And this, this, as well as having a couple of glitch things, we also have an Arcana underscore timeless underscore dungeon underscore one. Um, biomes, timeless, geode, and bioluminescence. And the ores here, diathrium. <laughs> diathrium. Uh, which is, a, a, yeah, an ore that I am targeting. I don't know what that does or what we're using it for, but it's, it's on the list of ones I haven't got yet. Oh, Borealite, I have got some of that, but whatever. Right, so timeless time it actually is. Oh, Valheim. Oh, uh, okay. I am. Um, that's. I think Valheim, like Lech mentions, is seems to become very. Well, very popular, hasn't it? A uh, survival game, I seem to remember. I know. Surprising. I know surprisingly little about it. I used to play quite a few survival games on the channel. Probably less so these days. I don't. I think any survival games I've been playing tend to be more 2D. But back in the day, I played all the stuff. I'd never played Rust. Um. Uh, so like, that was one of the. I mean, back years ago, um, the, the the main survival games were things like Rust and Savage Lands and Ark and everything. Rust just kept on going, didn't it? As well, got just changing and got rid of the zombies and did all sorts of stuff. Um, Ark just did what Ark did, uh, and Savage Lands does technically still plod along in early access, so it is still being updated. I've just turned into a ball again. Unfortunately, the, um, the ball turner key is F, and sometimes I'm, I'm trying to go for the ASDW, whatever you call them, keys, and I miss, and I turn into a ball. So, no. Right, anyway. Uh, there's actually a Badlands planet I haven't actually been to yet, but I said we're going to Timeless, so let's do that. Um, this, it's called the like, Starlian Badlands or something like that. Oh, that's got the Verilion, or, or whatever the hell it was called, which we couldn't find any use for, but... Anyway, Timeless time. After all that babbling. Yes, here we go. This is a this is a timeless planet. Um, Evil Black Cat asks about the lemon cake game. Did you know you can eventually turn your bakery into a cat cafe? Uh, sort of. I, I, I heard. I'm not sure where, but I did hear somewhere. Oh, I did see a screenshot which said which had pictures of cats in a tower or something, which all all sounds very cool. But I didn't I didn't play. I mean, I didn't play a huge amount of the game for the channel. I mean, this is the sort of game I'd like to play more of, but. Uh, probably won't have time to, but charming little game that. I feel like again though, I played the first twenty minutes of it on a video, which is one of those I've only scratched the surface type things. I know there's um, all the good stuff is later on, and I don't get to show that on the videos. But yeah, it seems to it seems to get very once you've actually worked your way through a lot of days and earned a lot of cash, and you can unlock so much new cool stuff, including presumably the cat cafe. <laughs> So this is the 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 ore that I was hoping for. Unfortunately, this planet seems to be made of brick, and bricks are not easy to mine through. What a pain! And the the uh, the um the veins aren't very big either, seemingly. I'll 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 move away from the starting area. Maybe we'll find somewhere that isn't made of brick. I'm not quite sure how bricks can naturally spawn on a planet, but but shush. Right, I've got no torches. I really have no torches. I've got desolate cobblestone in my torch slot. Outrageous. Let's make 181 torches. <laughs> I'll make a few and then stop. Some guy likes my hat. <laughs> it is my hair hiding hat. It is not looking at its best at the moment. Right, hang on. Torches. This is the one I never ever remember where torches are in the inventory. I made 97, that's not much. Right, let's have a bit of a look-see. Oh my god! What are you? Where is it? Wherever it is, you've got a health bar. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Oh. Oh? Oh! God. By the looks of it, it's weak to electrical damage. Because I'm taking off 310 per hit, which is enormous amounts of damage. Huh. Die. There we go. Does not drop any loot, though. Oh, here's another one of you over there. Oh! 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 Stay back! Stay back! Oh! What, what are you doing, missile? Okay. 
it shoots out missiles that slow down, but doesn't come back to get you. So it's I was worried, I was definitely kind of worried it's going to be a homing missile. Now the point of the cat cafe is to adopt out the cats you have, and as my mum can tell you, getting getting me to get rid of any of these cats is not easy. <laughs> Says evil black cat. Oh, this is moon rock. Oh, what's this? I found a very gothic uh, room, it look, possibly vampiric. Right, are you cool? You, you've got a shield out, which doesn't... Hang on. Mate? Mate! <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a standoff. Have I got any bombs? Oh! Ow! 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 I've got a violin. Enough of that. Oh, she's one of you and all. Right, get rid of you. Get rid of you. Yeah, you're quite easy. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. You can't go into the coffins, which is a shame. It's a, oh, it's a frontier coffin from... Uh, that'll be the Nova Kid um, type stuff, won't it? <laughs> Lek did not enjoy that. Music. Musical interlude. I think you've got to hit the very centre of those things for it to actually uh, hit them. I do, do I actually like that kind of coffin structure? It's very gloomy, very ominous. Oh, it was really loud. I'm sorry, I didn't realise how loud it was. <laughs> I turned it up, but then I overturned it up. Oh, this is steam spring type stuff, but on a different sort of planet. This sort of arrangement of um, water ponds or whatever is very similar to what I have back on the Winter Palace, which I've adopted into the design. All these pipes and everything. Was that just regular water? Yes, it was. There's a critter in there. A fish. What are you? It was getting a bit flappy, but I went away from it. It looks like we're about to move into a, a very splodgy looking biome. Home at the pop top. Nothing particularly useful there. Boop. Do some serious damage against um, pop top there. Adult pop top. Ooh, this is ugly. Got you. Let's see, so we'll see what kind of dirt this is. That usually gives an indication of what sort of biome it is. Oh, it's a superstorm biome. Okay, there's, a, there's an entire superstorm planet. And in fact, Superstorm stars as well in this. Uh, but this is just a sub-biome on a different planet. It does seem to quite intelligently mix the um, the new and the old biomes in this mod. Right, let's give it a... Put I like it when I can get them all in a line, but it doesn't often happen very often. So I'm still on the lookout for the uh, timeless... Dungeon? Which I don't know what it is. I've no idea what it's going to look like. Huh. This is, this is actually a proper steam spring biome. Not that common, these things. It's also... This this planet seems to be eternally dark. This These timeless planets. I mean, it's technically it's midday right now. But it's dark as dicks out here. Oh, it's a different colour biome. Um... That looks like a boiler, but in a different colour to normal. I think that maybe it's because the palette of this planet is different. Maybe it just renders it differently, I don't know. Having said that, I don't know. There, we'll leave that coffin there. <laughs> it can sit there forever. And we are now in... Well, I, th I don't know, I think we're still in Superstorm land, aren't we? It's just that we have got these lads. Are you, are you cool? Oh, you are cool! Who is Big Ape? Wouldn't you like to know? Uh, yeah, nothing particularly useful there. Why have you got blood on your bed? I don't trust him. What's your name? You don't have a name? Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> right, anyway. 
No, there's still no sign of these dungeons. We're in the, I think we're. I think I'm, I'm guessing. I have to avoid these lads. Ugh. I'm guessing that the the dungeon will only spawn in the actual main biome. That's a uh, lich castle dungeon thing. Not particularly useful for our needs. Don't think I really. You know what I miss? <laughs> I miss the the fracky do um, shuttles, so I can actually fly around this planet quickly and see what's what. I could. I guess I could just get a, um, a regular hover bike. Don't see any reason why I can't. I mean, they're vanilla, aren't they? And now we're in a bloody uh, midnight biome. This is a planet of surprises. Interesting mixture, this place. It makes sense if it's a because this feels like it's a a dark themed planet, so it makes sense. I've got a fluorescent helmet. I wonder if that glows. Oh my god. I won't be able to tell because I've already got the I've got the light augment on. Anyway, that's horrible. So, sod it. Where's my feathers gone? Oh god! I've just bunged it in my inventory and didn't notice where I put it. That can go in the bin. Where is it? No, who cares? I'll, I'll, I'll put my berry back on. I just can't see it anywhere. Ah, whatever. I don't want to keep on staring at that thing forever. Right, so we're in, the, in a bioluminescent biome now. I think we need to get back to the... Instead of just trudging around this planet, I think I'll, I'll pop back and beam back down again. Hello, Colin. Right, let's have a look over in this direction this time. It appears to be raining fire. Just ignore that, since I doubt it's going to be able to follow me. Oh, hello, Firebat. You go through walls, don't you? Hmm. Yes, these lads again. Oh, and lots of them. They seem to be firing quicker as well. There's another one of these. Oh, because it did say it did actually say on the ooh, on the um, the more planet info thing that there were two glitch settlements on this planet, and we appear to have found them both. Ooh, careful. But there's also the um, the dungeon in question. I wonder if it's... I don't think it's going to be um, underground. Well, we'll explore the surface options first. Oh, um, Colin's asking about the drink. Oh, it's just some... It's just some, uh, like, regular juice. Some blackcurrant juice, I think? Just to keep my throat... <laughs> From being too parched. Ow. Yeah, unfortunately, the timeless planets are re relatively tough. Um, relatively high tier. I think probably not so bad as the automated planets. But it's still, things do tend to hit hard here by default. Feels like we are seeing what we've seen before. But I don't think we've gone around the planet. I think this is new. Oh, we're coming to another shadow biome. Most vexing. There must be just lots of... I don't know. There must be just lots of different biomes. I think it's just a really large planet. I'm also being very lazy here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I was... Oh, God, it's gone. It's, uh, I think it's getting a bit laggy. Even now, with this computer, I still occasionally get... When there's a lot of particles... When there's a lot of particles flapping around on the screen, it can still get a little laggy. I think that was a, one of the reasons why they um one of the well possibly the main reason why this this game never came out on Xbox uh, was because I think it was the multiplayer they just couldn't get the performance on it at all. Um, especially when even even in single player there's moments of bad performance. So unless you've got a really good computer or whatever, so multiplayer I think was just too much. So I've no idea where this bloody dungeon is then. I, I am starting to wonder whether it is underground. Careful. I shouldn't be jumping off cliffs and looking at chat at the same time. That can, that can lead to accidents. Or well, the most violent, splatty kind. Well, there's definitely, I say, there's, uh, because um, we've seen it on the... Uh, because we have seen it on the More Planets info, there's definitely 100% guaranteed to be this dungeon. 
I just wonder where it will be. Uh, but I think there's a screenshot on the on the workshop page of it, but it didn't really give much away. I've just picked up a load of absolute garbage there from that chest. <laughs> oh well. There's not that many enemies around. I mean, this biome, there should be at least those kind of spitty, glowy lads. The big ones. But yeah, we also don't see the um, uh, the timeless enemies spawn. Oh! I think... Is this it? Or is this another glitch thing? Uh oh. Get got. There we go. This might actually be it. This looks... The screenshot looks familiar. Um, Olga says this planet is so pretty. It's got so many weird biomes on it as well. There's some... Um, well, we've seen Shadow, Bioluminescent, um, the Timeless Biome, and possibly one more, which I can't remember now. That's actually quite a cool little steampunk light. Steam Spring light. So I reckon... Oh, Teleporter! That's... That's a good sign. So you know what we'll do? For sanity's sake, I shall create myself the world's best house and put a teleporter in it. This is a this is um <laughs> Terraria house building. Oh, this is a great house, isn't it? It's like day one of the first time you ever play Minecraft. <laughs> Build something like, that looks a lot like this. So, flag. I always keep plenty of flags on me. Let's watch me have have run out of them by now. Shit, I think I have run out. Oh, pain in the arse. Can I craft one? No. Ugh. <laughs> oh, you always have flags. Ah. Well, fine. Looks like I won't be able to do a little teleport in place. Maybe, I mean, that teleporter over there, I wonder if that's... I think just, all that'll do is take us to um, uh, the dungeon. I won't be able to use it as a bookmark, however. Those those went down easily. You look like a lad who's in my asteroid base. Oh, what? Oh, oh, lad! You rotten shit. With your pets of doom. Oh, which one are you? How do you get... <laughs> Ugh. Also, what... Hang on. Hang on. I just realised that was a, that was solid. What I was... Um... Ugh. I was trying to escape through Solid Wall at one point. Right, so these are a bit tougher than I realised. Also, this arm is not doing much good, is it? Right. There we go. So I'm definitely going to have to make another flag at some point. But those lads over there to the left, look at these. I've never seen these in the mod before. Some sort of scuttly lads. There's also, I haven't killed you yet. Yeah, this, this stuff here, I thought it was a... a I thought it was background, that star thing above me. It's not. <laughs> oh well. I won't have enough bandages for this. But we'll have a look anyway. Right, here we go. Oh, it is a... Oh! It is just a regular teleporter. Holy shit. Timeless dung. Or dungeon. Right, there we go. But now what? <laughs> if this is supposed to be the dungeon, where's the where's the um, the, the the way in? Cerarian flower blocks. Hmm. These are some tall ass bookshelves. I need to get rid of you. Oh, missed. Missed. There we go. Non loot droppers. I ate you. What's going on? Oh, you! Hello! Is that a door? No, it's not. It's just a wall. Right. Heal up. I'm actually going to use my less good healing, just so I'm not wasting it. Right, here we go. Missed. There we go. My presumption is that the um, the entrance way is going to be right at the top of all this nonsense. Do it to you, and there. Lots more of these coffins around at the moment. Can I get up there? Oh, you have to go on the right hand side, don't I? So we're going to actually meet our scuttly lads for the first time, by the looks of it. 
But first of all, I need to get rid of you. Wait for it. Oh, Scully lad. Oh, he's got... Ooh, it's, it's, I didn't actually realise this could go through walls. Oh! Ooh! Rotten chittery! Run! Right, there we go. Save my ass there. Some well-timed bandages. Ugh. Ow! Got me. Right, Scully lad. Get got. Now, though they may not actually... Ow! They may not have a health bar, which is ba very bad news. Close the door. Oh, they can open doors! Ooh, Scully lads. Ooh. And they're not Scully, actually. They're flying. I'm trying to get away from here. Just, just run away at the moment. Well, I think he's gone. Well, he's over there to the left, but he can't go. He can't go through walls by the looks of it. I'm winning. I'm just totally running out of health stuff. I can't even get to this bloody, possibly non-existent dungeon. I think it does exist. There. There. <laughs> oh, we can blast it. It, but not very good. Thankfully, it's, it's it's um, it's not quite good enough to actually blast its way through. By the seems of it. Now we can get through this wall, can't we? Yes, we can. Ooh, ah. hello to Ich Mood. The bell's gone. <laughs> God damn it! It looks like that's the top of things. Oh no, maybe not. There's actually loads up here. Do I have any more dirt or anything? Well, I've got wooden logs for days. I'm going to go over here. This is a big, tall thing. <laughs> Official big, tall thing. I don't know what to do about those scutly lads. Because they are just... I think, I think they're invincible. Not 100% sure. So I'm just having a bit of a skip. <laughs> Boop, boop, boop. See where this takes us. It's so big, this bloody dungeon. Look at those! Gladiator lads. Things are maybe getting tougher. I think I'll actually have to probably go in. Right, hang on. Can I shoot through there? No, apparently I can't. Oh, oh! I can, t I can tempt them. Ha! Right, so he's not tough. Right, here we go. Uh oh, they're coming for me. Ooh, bloody hell! I think he debuffed me. Mate! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh oh. There we go. Yeah, I blew him right off there. <laughs> See you later, mate. Right, so the the tall dungeon of doom continues. That looks that looks like an important bit. Oh, oh, oh! I saw you with your blocking shield of blockiness. Could do with another teleporter at the top of here, to be honest. Uh oh, ow! Ooh, another one of you. I got the old double shot in there. Nice. I think I'm missing a few chests here and there. I'm just not really paying attention to them. Uh, Scully lads over to the left. I feel like this dungeon should be protected, so you can't actually just bust your way through walls like this. I'm not quite sure. I'm not 100% sure this is the actual main dungeon itself. It must be, though, because it's so big. But it does let you cheese it a little bit. Oop, <laughs> that was shocking, shockingly bad aiming by me. Ugh. Who are you? There we go. Look at him, he closed the door behind him. Bastard. He does seem to have a grenade on the secondary, which I didn't realise. This. Die! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Stop using a sniper rifle on someone who's like two inches away. <laughs> there we go, that's more like it. Use my uh, weird secondary on the sword. More healing. Good. More of that. So there's a whole lot of stuff going on down there. Um, is any of it useful? Probably not. I think I'll stay away. I don't think I saw any tasty chests. 
Uh, name of Bob asks about Project Zomboid. Uh, I've played it once or twice on the channel. Mate. And also, a couple of, I think I've streamed it a couple of times. Oh my god, it even... I did not realise they were some bad lads. Die. That might actually have to be a beam out. Right, okay. <laughs> uh, I do kind of need flags. Flags. Otherwise, um, it's going to be a bit of a pain. One copper and 20 woven fabrics. I think it will pop back. Really need some health. You know what? I think. Oh, God, that's. I might actually go. Weirdly enough, I might actually go to the automated planet to stock up on bandages. Because, so, weirdly enough, bandages are very good to find by killing lads when I'm on that planet. Um, or I could just not. Hang on, let's have a look at healing. I could actually make a couple of these. I think you get five a pop, so. I'll keep me in bandages for a while. There we go. Yeah, that'll do me. So now we also need the flag, so I'll need one copper, which I think is from here. Oh, there are copper. There must, be, there must be some copper somewhere. I mean, I've got some copper ore, so I think I might as well just turn that into... Oh, well, I can't do that there. I might as well just turn that into... I'm sure I had like 100 or 200 copper bars somewhere, but I'll probably put them somewhere really stupid. Anyway, so now I've got the copper, and what else do I need? Uh, flag. So I need um, woven fabric. Woven fabric. We don't have very much plant matter. I uh, might be able to source that from this box over here, I think. Yeah, I got shit tons. This is all very vanilla. No, wrong, wrong thing. Woven fabric. Get a bunch of that. Uh, Neighbor Bob says, can I take a um, mod? Oh, no, catch it. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I see what you said there. Ignore that. Right. That should that'll definitely be enough. Flag. Oh, can I only make one? Blimey. I keep forgetting how expensive flags are in the great scheme of things. Right, good. I shall put the flag um, there. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. I don't know why I've got those staffs there. Just briefly. I'm just going to see if I can extract any essences, because my this is now full. Superstorm? Oh yes, we can get Superstorm essence out of this. And it goes down very fast indeed. Is it handy? Also, the Evo Aquatic Dirt does not work. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Well, I'll put a bit, some of this stuff into here, I think. Get rid. A lot of it's stuff we've already got. A lot of this stuff is just vanilla. All this gunk. Like, some bucks. Stone wall, that's new. Put that in there. Stack that. Throw that away. Throw that away. Throw that away. There. Right. Back on it. Now this time, we should be able to... Now how's it alphabetic? There it is. Arc timeless dung. Noice. Oh, c game! <laughs> Stop that. I don't actually have any, um... Ugh. I, don't have, I just realised I don't have any blocks in my... Ah, this is, that's no good. That's, that is going to be a death. Yeah. Never mind. Right, okay. So here's, here's what I need to do. I need to actually put some blocks. I think I must have... Um, oh yeah, because I, I moved the logs around, didn't I? That's what I did there. Okay, now we've got cobblestone there. That should do the trick. I'll also put some more in there. Yeah, okay. I'll try that again. Back to the timeless dung. Well, the scuttling lad's gone. Oh, he's up there. Still scuttling away. I'm just going to block you off. I don't know for you. So last time we... God damn it. <laughs> uh, last time we did go so high up, we actually went into the lower 
atmosphere, whatever you call it. We actually started to go towards the bit where it's actually out in space. I really should have done this a bit better, shouldn't I? Never mind. Let's go. Let's just go around here. Oh, that's not good. That's not working. Right, so I've got to remember to put the flag down. There we go. Up here. <laughs> God damn it. There. And once more. Oh, we've got another bell. Excellent. Now we get a bell. This is so tall. Hello. Oh, there we go. Now we're in space. This really does reach to the sky. I've started to win out. I'm starting to win out a cobblestone already. There's no music up here. <laughs> it's so high up. Um, well, there's no sound in space. <laughs> so I guess the music shuts up. Or might we be just change, changing music? I don't know. Oh! That looks... Up there. That might actually be the boss. Give it a yo. So, yeah, this does feel like you can cheese this dungeon a little too easily. Going up the sides or whatever. Uh, it feels like this should have, you know, like you have this, uh, the tile protection on the dungeon. So you can't just, like, break your way through the walls or whatever. That'd be nice. Or make, make it re much harder, which is probably a good thing, really. So, yeah, there you are. Mate. Right, let's let's try and do this honestly rather than try to cheese it. Oh, it, oh, it, oh! I see what it does. It's rotten. It's a rotten shit. It it spawns. It spawns those lads. Ooh. I think the um, the only good weapon I've got is the um, is the um, the sniper at the moment. Or ever. I really could do with them um, having some armor that has some better stamina on it, or some some electrical energy, or whatever the hell it's called. It takes ages to um, recharge this. And mind you, the sniper is so is so powerful; it does need to um, it does deplete the stamina very quickly. Anyway, I always call it stamina; it's actually energy. Right. I should probably put um, change my hotkeys around as well because I have to keep on pressing four to actually get to this. To get to the um, sniper when I've gone on bandages, if I if I plan this ahead, <laughs> might be better. I'm um, thinking this hopefully it's only going to be a one stage enemy, so, so I don't have to just like worry about difficult tactics. Those those uh, th those um, ones that he spawns are actually less tough than the ones you we we, we have been seeing so far, it seems. And they also these um these bullets aren't actually that tough. He stopped. <laughs> but not for long! Right, wait for it. Oh, hello! I mean, so you could just run away and recover on this. There's nothing stopping you. But, as I say, I'm trying to keep this as reasonably honest. Until I die, and then I'll probably do it as dishonestly as I can. <laughs> just cheese the hell out of it. I also didn't put that flag down, did I? Okay, hang on. <laughs> Maybe I will do that. Bit of a bit of room. There. Just in case. Just in case things don't work work out. And I think I got this, I think. Yeah, we've got it to below half health now, so I don't think it has a, another stage to it. Oh, these, even these things have a really small hitbox. So I keep on thinking I've hit them and I haven't. So I'm taking off 375 damage per pop. If I use that, uh, my sword, that's not so good. That takes off 75. But you, at least you get a couple of hits off it. My bandage up. But yeah, I'm not going to be swording it. It's not really a, a very good one to melee with this. I don't know. I'm no no mercenary, that's for sure. 
Yeah, I think we've got this, haven't we? It's all looking very straightforward. As long as I keep on remembering to heal. Um, come on, charge back up. There we go. So this is this is definitely doable with not like really difficult end game type armor, which is handy. Oop, I think I am starting to need a little bit of a heal like that. Yeah, I think we've almost done. Almost done. One more hit. Two more hits. Three more hits. No, so I did. I'll give it to you. And you. And finally, just so we don't get s tricked at the last second. There we go. All sorted. One final heal. I got a nano wrap bandage times four. Hooray! But also, Aeon Essence, Aeon Leaf, and 4,000 quid. Now I'm guessing, is Aeon Essence particularly rare and special, or is it? Is there not particularly many drops here? I don't know. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's some... Maybe that's something you can't get anywhere else. I don't know. Right. Cool. Nice little boss. This is so high up in the... Oh my god, yeah, we're so high up. We've actually got the um, the, the space um, mobs spawning. They're a bit goofy. It's got terrifying red eyes. Yeah, so nice. Nice, very, very tall dungeon. Skyscra a skyscraper of the Old West, by the looks of it. But yeah, uh, without dungeon protection on this, it does make it substantially easier to get to the top. Right. Have a bit more of a look. Though there's a huge amount left to do here. Apart from shoot a lot of those things. There might be some more chests. Although what I might do is get that. The clockwork thing. Because there's probably some cool furniture we could... A lot of these um, furnitures are just reused from vanilla, but I think there are a few interesting things here and there. Seems to be a mixture of what, Wild West and Steampunk. I think those bookcases you find in um, only one particular mission, like the... Uh, was it the High Lottle mission? Possibly. But it still feels quite coherent. Like making use of existing assets, assets to their fullest, whatever. He's trying to fire his arrows at me, isn't he? This one seems tougher. I don't know. Oh, there's another one down there. Got you. That one, that one wasn't really tough, was it? And we're back down into regular territory here. A level 8 wand? Already got one of those. And a sniper rifle. That's only got 40 damage per shot. I wouldn't wipe my nose on it. There's also a bottle of booze. Right. Now the music's back. Let's go. Sorted. And that is the timeless, timelessness, dungeony, whatever the hell it's called. Nice. Right, so we had. Do I need to de gub? I probably do, don't I? Yeah, let's de gub. What we'll do, we've got some more teleporter cards. I'm going to put that into there. I probably should put a few things into here. This is. Synthetic material? Mm, I'll keep that. That's something I might use at some point. I'll get rid of a few of these other crafting ingredients that aren't so important. Still don't know where that copper went, but yeah, whatever. Oh, Morphe plenty of Morpheus shard there. And woven fabric, probably only that again. Get rid of the paper, get rid of those. Get rid of that, that, that. We'll leave that. Get rid of that. Keep that. And there, that'll do that. We've also got a bell. Do we have a bell on the ship? No, we don't. Let's put it in the worst possible place. There. It's so bad it doesn't even fit. I'll put it there instead. Hmm. Might have to get rid of that light. I don't know why I'm making all these changes. Um, because this is a mod timeline that I'm making. Next time I do play a mod, I'll probably, I'll probably have to reverse all these changes. Which is a shame, but never mind. At least I've got video evidence of it all. Right, let's have a go at these badlands. Because these are full of bandits and things like that. Oh, maybe I did go. Maybe I did this on stream, um, on video actually. This looks familiar. I think this is one where they, where some goodies and baddies go into a war. Yeah, you're actually a good guy. Well, I'll have a bit more of a proper look around. Let's have a look in here. If oh yeah, look, I've taken stuff out of the box. Oh, I've been. Oh yeah, this is the tar. 
Yeah, I remember this. I don't think I had a really proper look around this place. I think I'm, I can't remember what I did in the video, but I don't think it was very much on this planet. Oh, this is all very familiar. Yeah, I think I just did um, dig down and got some of the ore, didn't I? That is... I was going to remind myself. I think that's... Is a useful ore, though. I remember that. Yeah, this this turns into rusty metal, doesn't it? Yeah. And there's the verist in ore. This is stuff that I don't know really what to do with at the moment. Just grab a little bit of that. There we go. All added to the pot. Yeah, so much evidence of me um, having been here before. Look, that's where I went down previously. God damn it. But what I will have done is probably... Ooh. Oh, God. Okay, now we've got some action. More action. Less tears. Get rid of you. Yeah, that's right. Stand in a line. Oh, fuck. Hang on. <laughs> it turns out five people shooting at you is actually bad for your health. God, look at this. They actually are tough as well. These are... These are tougher than those evil electric lads from the Timeless thing. God, these are pricks. Got ya. Oh look, my friends are helping. There's a civil war. Ow! Oh. Here we go. Bandits be gone. Also, they're killing the birds. Nice. Oh, that's, the, that's the same box as I looked in earlier. God damn it. Yeah, these bandits are tough old birds. And the birds are not. Okay, that's a nice little staff. Another level 8 one. Again, I'm unlikely to use it though. And there's some sky boos up there. Moving a bit further on. Here comes a nightcrawler. I just call them nightcrawlers because they those are like the starbound baddies that are slightly tougher, the ones that come out at night only. What if I ever explained that? <laughs> I think I first called them nightcrawlers about five years ago. It was a long time ago. Frosting and whatever. Uh, it looks like we are coming up across... Oh, I think that's just a beacon for a... Ow! I said that before I even got here. It looks like a beacon for... Oh, then it's just enemies, isn't it? It's not a shop. And these are some more of these surprising. Oh, no, maybe not. I'm gonna say surprisingly tough bandits, but they're not surprisingly tough. They're surprisingly fragile. More bandits. God, these this planet is a uh, it's crawling with them. And lots of them in all. These ones again less tough. They just yeah, they die like me sticking a butter knife into butter. <laughs> oh, glad you hate a helmet. I said in the most peculiar possible accent. Oh yeah, that's yeah. I've, I've seen this before. I don't really want it. Um, so I still can't find that headdress. Most peculiar. Well, am I looking at the wrong tab? No, probably not. I think I'm just going mad. Oh, <laughs> wasn't looking where I was going there. Should probably bandage up. Now they're having a fight. Oh, they're, they're shooting a shopkeeper. The shopkeeper is now dead. Ooh, careful. Entering a cave of peril. Ooh, they're, they're getting me. He's got a sniper and all. Oof. <laughs> there was a fair and frank exchange of views. Yeah, torch that up. And then eight... Spoiler ape needs a little nap. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Right, looks like I might have to do some... Oh, God damn it! Hot grappling action. It occurred to me I could have done this when I was climbing that other tower, couldn't I? But I had to use cobblestone. And I think we're coming into a different biome whose name I forget. God, these are mountains. Hmm. 
tough old planet, as I say. Frankly, they do put, like to keep their cash in boxes. Are you cool? Huh, you are cool. So there's a vanilla skyship dungeon. Which we're not going to look at, because <laughs> it's vanilla. And th uh, there's another... Oh, yes! It's an ape with a, uh, one of those cool hats on. Also, the music has now gone very cyberspace. It's gone very... Um, I think it's the, the music from... Uh, the Peacekeepers stuff. The Bounty Hunter stuff. It's good, good bit of music, this. Oh, a drill. Right. I'm not going to get everything. I'm just going to have a final, final look round to see what's what. Oh, wow, there's a... There's action. No, there isn't. And so what actually... What sort of um, biome is this, then? Oh, this is a ferocious biome from a... Yeah, you get, there's a ferocious planet. Um, of which this is the biome, I guess. You gotta die. Die. He's not dying. So this is... I've definitely turned into a ranged character these days. <laughs> because every broadsword that I seem to use is just not nearly as strong as... Like a sniper rifle, but this is the only weapon I'm using, which is. Oh no, this is this is yeah. Oh, ignore that. That's just babble. I do need. To, I still need to create a few weapons. I think. I don't think there's any. Oh yeah, this is this is all just getting competitive. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Anyway, never mind about that. What are we doing now? We're sorting that out. We pretty much explored all the planets that I needed to do. Um, there's a couple more we haven't done. I don't want to go to the f the, the, the fuck old planet. Um, uh, the turbulent one we div did on video. Sanguine. Sanguine. Hmm. Well, <laughs> coming in hot there. Ow. I think this is going to be another bandit planet. Oh, not another one of you and all. I'm just going to see what I didn't really notice when I was um, uh, looking at the um, the more planets info stuff. Let's see what this is. Averstone. Oh, I haven't actually got that before. Maybe I haven't been to this planet then. Oh, this is yep. This is new. This is new for me and me and new for you. I'm sure I've got some kind of Averstone stuff before, but never the actual ore. Also, more, yet more b bandits having a picnic down there. Yeah, they're not too, they're not too bright, these lads. They don't know where I am. They never will either. Got your cash. Oh, bloody hell, I picked up the table. <laughs> they really didn't want the table. Why well, can't Starbound be more optimised? Um, yeah, there is that. <laughs> Was ever thus. I mean, they made big performance games during development. I mean, when it first came out, it was horribly unoptimized. But... Not just regular ass. Oh, hmm. oh, I can't get out now. God damn it. Hang on. There we go. Nice little grappling hook action. Ignore you. Oh, god damn it. It's just. There are some planets in this mod which I really are just like. Bandits, bandits, bloody bandits. Now they're attacking... I think they're attacking each other, but I'm not 100% sure. No, I think they're not. I think... Yeah. <laughs> Just ignore them all. Until now! Oh, right down the line. Nice. Oh, careful. Also, are you a shopkeeper? Oh, you are. You're selling cannibals' trousers, apparently. Well, they won't be for long, because you're about to die, I think. I don't know, though. They haven't actually killed the shopkeeper, which is rare. They like to do that. So we've got Cannibal's Trousers. <laughs> Excellent. I've also got... I seem to have got a load of bloody blueprints. I think the Spoiler Ape character is still... I, I haven't actually used... I've mean, used him shit ton for videos, but I've actually done him for le uh, less for gameplay than you might imagine. Just regular playing it. 
So he is not the most technically the most advanced character in the world. She's selling some chili. Spies hood. Ooh. I think that's the most obvious spy in the world. I think if you saw that coming towards you, <laughs> you wouldn't think, oh, he's being discreet. Silly sods. Maybe he's a sarcastic spy. Oh, I'm so discreet. Yeah, I'm not really finding much else here, am I? I don't really want to dig around for those piddly little bits of rock. Those are t way too small. Oh, Sebi. Oh, you're talking about... Yeah, I know. As soon as you said Sebi, I knew who you meant, without even any context. It's Sebi. My Sebi. Sebastian. <laughs> I don't know why I call him Sebi. I think, I think in-game, in I think uh, someone else calls him Sebi. And for some reason, that just stuck in my mind. Uh, Sebi was the the purple... I, can't he's got, he's, well, I think he wears the purple hoodie who lives in his basement and does hacking or something. What else have we got? I do, I, I've, I've been meaning to use capture pods. I wonder if we should actually try to capture. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to try to capture one of those lads from the timeless planet. Uh, put that there. I need to heal up a bit more, I think. There we go. Right. Let's make these pricks work for me this time. Oh, it's his mom. Yeah, mother who calls. M mother who calls him Sebi. Yeah. Right, let's try. I'm trying to get one of the Scutley lads. So I need to. T oh, no, I can't. Um, if they're invulnerable, uh, I won't be able to get them down to, like, a quarter health. And therefore, I won't be able to capture them. So instead. Oh, my God. We've got five of them over there. But, I, yeah, this lad over here. Maybe we'll be able to get him. Uh, unfortunately, yes, he is kind of um, a bit guarded. <laughs> I might have to go round. This is going to take forever. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you like the apes? I like the bird peoples. Yeah, I like the apes. Um, hopefully this um, lad will activate before I need to do anything. Although, having said that, he, he does seem to be a bit stupid. There we go. Activated. Right. One shot. Get out! Two shots. Hang on, I didn't kill him. Ugh! There, hey, capture pod. Got you! Right. Captured him. Right, where is it? Go. Oh, I weirdly put it there. Hmm. Timekeeper. Ooh. All right. And now he's going to lurk. He may. I wonder if he's like going to give off some light source or not. I mean, it looks like it should give off light source. Let's go to a, tar a nice dark planet and put it to the test. It could be anywhere. Now, this is the first time I've actually wanted to beam down a planet at night. Let's just pick one at random. Let's see if it gives off a glow. It, well, it is night, I guess. Come on. Oh, it is. I think it is. I think it's glowing. Unfortunately, so is, so is everything else down here, by the looks of it. Here, look, some bees. Kill the bees. Right, if I take off my glowing... Oh, I can't... Mm. I think my light source was coming from that. So now we'll be able to see... Yeah, you can see the red glowy stuff. Cool, okay, so that that would be a useful light source. Although, having said that, it'll probably die quite quickly. I think um, someone suggested in the comments of episode one that certain things that you can capture... Um, if you put... A, well, in fact, anything that you capture, if you put a collar on it, a certain kind of collar, you can make it... So it doesn't actually attack anything, or it just it's um isn't basically invulnerable, but it can't also it can also not attack, and therefore if you get if you get any enemy that glows, it, it becomes a really good light source, which is cool. Anyway, I better put my um uh, EPP back on, otherwise I might go to a planet and then suffocate. Sam, which one's oh yeah, talk about Stardew Valley romancing. Sam, he's the um he's like the blonde guitarist guy. You know, it's, it, it tells tells a lot about the fact that I always play Stardew Valley Year 1 and never get onto Year 2. But I didn't realise that, uh, I think, 
Um, Sam has a... I think Sam's father comes back in year two or something. He's gone. Oh, he's having a bit of an attack. Oh, well. They've just disappeared completely. <laughs> oh, well. We've lost him. Oh, he's, he's teleported. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, well. Come here. Follow me. Follow me into the dungeon of nothingness. Yeah, this is one of those uh, avian uh, dungeon temple things, isn't it? Yeah, it's Kent. That's the one. I can't remember why I found it out. Found it out because yeah, I've been having a drink. I think I've, I just happened to notice like um, Stardew Kent in a search term. I thought that doesn't ring a bell. And I looked him up and said, "Oh, he's year two, year two lad." And I, as I say, I very rarely get to year two. It's because it just takes um, such a long time to play. Oh, we got the um, we got a Scottish biome, the Alpine. I can't, I can't even open this door. There we go. I'm itching to banner some beasties. Only in a Scottish accent. Yeah, this is this is weird having an Alpine biome in this planet. It's disconcerting. There are some Capri goats, aren't they? Yeah, everything's. I can one-shot everything here. We don't need to be here. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Also hates eggs. Oh, Kent hates eggs. Egg hater. Right, let's get back. Right, let's... Oh god, this is going to be ligging about in a place now, isn't it? Oh well. You can lig. I'll, I'll allow it. So let's see what we can actually do with the electrolyte. That's good. That's going to be handy. So this is now the admin part of the stream. <laughs> What else can I make? Morphosis. I must have... Yeah, I think I've made Morphosis before. In fact, I think I've got quite a lot of it. But we now have a bunch of it, so that's... Can we add that to the pot? We're going to be able to craft everything with any luck. <laughs> that's not true at all. So I don't know what these... Um, the, uh, the, the, the loot that we got from the boss. I'm not quite sure what we can do with that. We may be able to find out shortly. There's something I haven't actually done, which I'm gonna th I'm gonna do that in the um in the next video. I think there's a crafting table I haven't yet made, uh, which is I got I got frightened there. I thought he was gonna attack me. Uh, there's a crafting table that we haven't made yet, uh, which is the cybernesis table. Now that requires enhanced battery in Jupiter's cell. And I was looking that up, and that requires that's not too difficult. That requires in fact I've already got the stuff. It requires a lot of neon water. Um, which is what I've been gathering when we went to that Neon Sea planet. So that's all doable. So we can do that like in episode 4, which will be handy. And we can see what we can make out of that. But for now, I need to see... Just have a look at what we can do with all this stuff. I don't think we can do huge amounts. No, I can't make anything. Probably because I need, I put everything back into my box. Um, We can still make a more anima stuff. And we can, well, I could probably make one of those, but so I never d did find uh, the Cosmo tendrils. I'm wondering whether Cosmo tendrils are a drop from the other new boss. Um, I possibly they've just added this as a new armor set when they added the um, the automated planet, um, and, and that's the boss I haven't done yet. So I'm guessing maybe. Oh, here we go. Oh no, ignore me. <laughs> um, I just thought that one of these other armor sets might be um. Uh, you, you can craft uh, the armor from what we've just picked up from the uh, the timeless planet, but nope. Morphosis egg. So I, I don't know what those are, but presumably that's from a, a planet where you get the morphosis uh, or whatever. But yeah, I really want to find out where these cosmic the cosmo tendrils are for. Hello, Francesco. And yes, indeed, ciao. Uh, what else is there here? Not very interesting. A lance. I never use lances. And here's a. Here's some more shoddies. I think I I did craft at least one of these. Oh, this was the, um, yeah, this was the sniper, the remorse. I was going to craft the shoddy um, in the video. Oh, what are you? Um, well, is this doable? Oh, these are all quite, these are all quite fiddly things to do because you have to quite craft a load of other stuff and all, like the Osiri Defender, which is doable because that requires Arcanium, which we've got. Uh, Torment... Which one's that? 
that requires necroium. We haven't quite got enough of those, but we should be able to turn. We should be, we should have some bars somewhere. And the Borealite Mag Magnus. I think this is doable. The Borealite Magnus, I'm guessing, is something that you craft possibly here? Nope. Here? Nope. <laughs> here we go. Borealite Ring. Renat mm, this is possible. We just need... Okay, we'll do this. So, just to recap, we are making the Tesla Viola. Unique weapon. So I don't know what this does. It should be quite interesting to find out. Right. So, first of all, we'll start with some... We'll need Arcanium. Which is that. God, that's a lot of stuff. We'll need an Acroium. That's just going to get in the way, isn't it? <laughs> God damn it. Right. So the Asari Defender. One of you. Then we need the Torment. We need the Copper Component. Uh, which um, you make, again, I think it's here out of copper, tungsten, and copper wire. Right. Oh, hang on. Got just about enough stuff there. Right. Copper component, a couple of those. Let's make a few. God, this is turning into uh, <laughs> one of those uh, Minecraft mod things. Um, oh, we have the hands battery. Don't need that at the moment. Right, and then we can make, not you, we can make a Torment. And finally, we just need Borealite Magnus. Right, Borealite is there. Do do boop. And we don't need to go there, we need to go... Oh fuck, where is it? <laughs> there it is. And we need a couple, I think we need a couple of those. Ren Renatine Crystal, which goes in... Get out of the way! Okay. <laughs> there. It was in here, wasn't it? Renatine crystal. There we go. Fragments. So I think we I think we're nearly there. Uh, which one is it again, that one? Oh, Renatine hang on, Renatine crystal is something different. Uh, okay, hang on. Where's that? Here it is. We need arcane water, which we... Oh, thank God for that. We do have that. Lots of it. Right. I think... God, I'm confused now. What are we doing? <laughs> have we actually got that far yet? Oh, no. We need Borealite Magnus. Oh, where the hell was that? <laughs> there it is. Right. I still haven't made the Magnus. I thought I just made the Magnus, the boy like Magnus. Did I just drop it on the... F Maybe I craft... Oh, it's on the floor, that's why. Hang on. Ugh. There it is. Right, yeah, I'd run out of space in my inventory again. And the Tesla Viola, here we go. So it all pays off. <laughs> all that mining around the place has finally paid off with something I can actually shoot. <laughs> which is fun. Right, I don't really want to be on this planet to test this out, um, because I suspect we need some baddies that are more stronger than what we've got in that place. So let's pick... I need to get rid of this thing. I hate it. <laughs> I've gone from like to hate. How do you get rid of these things? I, can't... I think you just have to... There we go. Right. There. That's that. What am I doing? Stop it. Right, there we go. Let's just go to... let's see. I'm trying to find the one which isn't going to be like really dark and horrible. Let's go to the illuminated planet. Oh yes, Colin has actually pointed out I did drop it. Yes, I missed that in chat. Right. God, this is quite the... Oh, here we go. I've charged it up. Ooh! Ooh. Boom! This might actually be a bit of a low-tier planet, thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, that happened in episode 3, I think. Right, anyway. Don't mind about that. <laughs> and you. 
Let's have another look at it. Damage per shot, none. Well, <laughs> I think that's a lie, isn't it? Okay, so I got him down to almost no health, but then he burnt to death. I'll learn him. Oh, does it follow the cursor? Well, obviously it does. No, it just, it just seemed to arc. It did seem to arc in an interesting fashion. I'm not quite sure how... Oh, well, I think it does. I think there is some sort of weird kind of cursor follow thing. Let's see if it appears over to the right. Ever. No, I think it has to bounce back, doesn't it? Uh, there is no secondary, it seems. No, we've only got primary. It's about 70 DPS, says Colin. Oh, yes, I wasn't even paying attention to the... Um... Hmm. It's a terrifying little bugger, this. I'm going to test it out on a... Let's go to a, a better planet. Or a, a stronger planet, whatever you want to call it. A higher tier one. And we, well, we could try it out on the timeless planet, I guess. Uh, we could be timeless. We're not going to the timeless dung. Let's just go to the regular timeless flag. Right. Enemies. 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 Do you exist? Yes, you do. Charge you up. Ooh! Well, those birds are not particularly that strong anyway. Um. What about you? Yeah, that's pretty tough. And... Nice. In which case... Let's go back to the main timeless dungeon then and see how it fares against those lads. Timeless dung. Here we go. Right, so again though, the Scutley lads I think are invincible, so that's not really much of a test, is it? <laughs> Invincible's invincible. Well, I've made it burn, but again, all very pointless. I'll test it out against these lads. Oop! They've got their arrows out. Okay, like a bit of camping here. Burn. Okay, two hits. Sweet. Ow! Burn. Burn. Burn to death. Go on, lad. Oh, selfish bugger. There we go. <laughs> I kind of do want to try my um, try it out against the um, those timekeepers. Unfortunately, I think I've killed most of them. <laughs> there must be some over this this side of things. You know, I've been I've been uh, using this weapon all wrong. I think it's it's actually quite a fast firing one. It's not very good for very close quarter combat, but. I was using it like a sniper rifle that has a very slow rate of fire. It's got a decent rate of fire, this. Which makes it even stronger, I guess. Hmm. I'm starting to like this. Right, here we go. Let's get rid of you first. There's actually loads of them, isn't there? Oh, shit, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Heal! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I just realised I've got any ban good bandages left. Uh, and then I clicked the wrong button and chaos kind of ensued. Oh, this is so slow healing as well. Ugh. Never mind. I want to go back there because we didn't actually finish off what I was trying to do there. Right, I'm, I'm going to really going back to really shitty bandages now. But they heal quicker than those bloody medipacks, so that's good. There. Right, back to the dung. We could be timeless. Yes, I am singing Eurovision songs from about ten years ago. <laughs> right, anyway. Let's go back up here. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my um, things around the... Because uh, I, I put my um, this weapon on my, on my secondary hotbar, which was definitely a mistake. Because I kept on having to flick between them. I replaced my regular sniper. 
That seems like a good idea. Right, back through here. Here we go. Right, first of all, clear you out. Go on, King Prick. Also, why is there like a... Piss off, Mr. Cabri's power, whoever the hell you are. Right, okay. So, the final test. Yep, not bad at all. And this is good for, I would have thought reasonably good for like close, well not close quarter, but when there's like a, when you're in a cave or whatever, and the bullets can bounce around all over the place. Um, it's not great for really close quarters stuff, but medium quarters maybe. Uh, so the invincible thing would make a great pet. It would, but unfortunately I don't think you could actually get the pet in the first place. I'm going to double check, it, it just doesn't have a health bar, does it? No. Oh, bloody hell, that's actually um, ugh, tougher than I thought. Yeah, it, it, I can't get it low enough health to get. Because it'll always be on full health, won't it? Unless it's a weird... Because I've never... I don't, I'm not sure in Vanilla Starbound if there are any invincible baddies in there. So I'm not quite sure how... Maybe, maybe I'll try it with... Um, I'll try it with my capture pod, just, to, just out of interest to see if there's any kind of like... Um, not exactly a bug, whatever, but... Just on the off chance. That it might actually be possible to get without doing anything. Nope! <laughs> it was not impressed. No, you can't get those as pets, unfortunately. Cool. Okay, so let's uh, let's finish off the stream now. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, so we will be picking this up again in episode four. Um, I'll probably put this out um, as a proper video, although it'll just be the same video with the introduction with the introduction cut off as usual. <laughs> uh, they'll come out at some point, and then I'll put out an episode four probably probably next weekend. I've actually got quite a full schedule planned for this week, uh, which I'll just quickly pull up. Um, just do that. The, I need to close the door. The snow is getting in. There we go. Uh, so next week on the channel, let's pull that up. Uh, there's a quite, there's a few things. I'm, um, none of these are necessarily guaranteed because um, I, partly because I haven't actually played the video, or I haven't actually played the game yet, or I haven't actually got the key for it yet. But there's a game called Alien Life Simulator, which is coming out, which is a fun, janky little game, but still quite interesting. Um, we're going to play Roots of Pasha Alpha, uh, which I think is a I seem to remember it's a kind of like a, a farming sim type thing. Uh, fights in tight spaces, um, early access, that's finally coming to early access. I played a demo of that on the channel a while back, and it was really good. A kind of like a deck building, very stylized fighting, um, tactical fighting game, which is really cool. Uh, I might be playing a bit of Skid Cities, which is like a city building game, but vertical and like up and down um, into, the, um, into the ground and everything. I think it's like a cyberpunk thing. Um, Derelict Void, what's that? Oh, Derelict Void isn't coming out until March, so that's something for the future. Um, so, really, um, at the moment, um, it's going to be like next next weekend is going to be the time when I have the um, time to put out another Starbound video. There might be... I might try and squeeze in another Minecraft. Um, I'm put, I've been putting those out when... Uh, just like a, as a stress release, so I'd have to make a, a new video every day, but that'll probably um, have to wait a little bit of extra time before that next one comes out. That's going to be the one, hopefully... The um the mine the the, the Thormcraft finishing off one. It might even it might actually even be the um the Crimson Rites episode. So that might actually be the same thing. So that's going to be happening very very soon. And that's it really. Um, what else can I say? Um, well th thank you I should say as usual thank you to Evil Black Cat for your sterling moderation. Always very much appreciated. Uh, anyone who's new here for the first time, I'll give you the spiel. Um, I do have a buy me a coffee. Um, uh, and a Patreon if you want to support the channel and um, send me a tip or whatever. Um, it does help out a lot, keeping things all in good condition, all the equipment and stuff like that. Uh, Lech does actually point out I should, uh, I really should have a look at Valheim. I have considered it, and I might still consider doing it. Uh, it feels a bit after the fact now, because that took me by surprise. I didn't even know anything about it until I discovered it was already very popular. <laughs> but I might have had a look into that, because um, it might, might be nice to have a bit of a, uh, a survival game look at type thing. Um, cool. Okay, so have a good rest of day, everyone. And very thank you all for stopping by. It's always a pleasure. And next week should be a stream as usual, I think. I can't see any reason why not. Uh, still half planning on doing some rogue extra streaming here and there just for the Minecraft. I still can't remember the bloody name of this thing anymore. It's been a while since I actually played it. The one we streamed a while ago, um, a few, about a month or so ago. Interactions. That's the bugger. Yeah. Um, it's hell essentially. So I want you to share that with me.
But so that might that might be some um, st- um, off Sunday stream I mean at some point, or it may even be next Sunday. Who knows? I haven't decided yet. But I'll let you know as usual on things like uh, the Discord and Twitter when everything's settled and there's stuff and that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, good night, everyone, uh, and see you next time. Bye for now.